Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. Unfortunately, I got another phone call from another person that bought one of those Ryzen S bunkers. And I'm going to tell you what, this one is horrific. So this bunker you're about to see in this video today is, uh, is a five-year-old bunker made by Ryzen S bunkers out of uh, Merchantson, Texas. It is a 10 by 25 foot bunker. And the gentleman, an elderly gentleman, bought this bunker that walks with a cane, okay? Um, this is really sad. This proves how badly designed this bunker was. You don't sell a bunker to a man that walks with a cane with zigzag steps. But guys, when you watch this video, you're going to be floored on that this company is even still in business. But the good news is I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do a follow-up video on this, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it, and then I'm going to do another follow-up video on what it looks after I'm done refurbishing this bunker. Guys, this is just a disgrace, okay? There are good people out there that can make a good bunker. I'm just saying that this company is apparently not one of it because this is just horrible. But guys, sit back and... I guess I'd usually say enjoy the video, but it's hard to enjoy a video where a man basically loses his money. And the reason it flooded is not even his fault, but the company that made this bunker wants $35,000 to come out and fix it. And we are actually going to do it for less than that and do it better and right. Okay? So guys, I'll see you at the end of the video. Alright, so this is a Ryzen S hatch. It's a five year old bunker. Um, it's rusting all the way around the edges. That's why I blast them and I use an automotive primer and paint. So the same paint that's on your car is what's on my hatch. So I've gone to bunkers of mine that were eight years old and they still look brand new. Because it's the same paint that's on your car. Mm -hmm. And if you do it that way, it won't rust. But these still fab guys, they just put on the cheapest primer, the cheapest paint and you're going to get a bad finish you know mm -hmm. so that's just a way to save money but i'm spending i'm trying to do everything the best way possible and then not worry about the cost and then to have the air pipe coming in and going out together like rise s is doing here is just ridiculous you don't put the air in and the air out together they got to be separated otherwise you got air coming in one and carbon dioxide coming out of the other in this case you're sucking it right back in when you're running the uh, air vent if it even sucks so that's just a well we know the whole system sucks <laughs> you know the whole system yeah, sucks yeah, so i'm not even sure what that other white so what's the story is. they they were supposed to come out and fix it and they didn't right they haven't come they haven't called we've communicated back and forth over the last couple you know four or five months and but they want $35,000 to fix your yeah. bunker that, and what are they blaming it on? Oh, they know it. It's the hose. It's the hose. I got the hose hanging over. But what the about their lifetime warranty? Well, they never told me that they had a lifetime warranty. I'll have to, if they call back, I'll have to ask them that. So this is a... This is the hatch on a Ryzen S 10 by 25 foot bunker. And the 30, 000, There's no concrete around it, huh? The yeah. 30,000 is going to be a new hatch door, sandblast the whole thing. Why are they going to give you a new hatch door? They said it's new and improved. Oh, it's new and improved. I think, yeah. So they're admitting that this one's not that good? Apparently, yes. Okay. They weren't going to do anything with the other door, though. Oh, where's the escape? Right here, under the dog tent. So the escape is coming right up to the surface. Oh, wow. Can I move this? So that's the escape. Right. But it's right by the entrance. Yes. But there's only one little tiny rod catching on the inside. So I could pull, I could jerk this open. Really? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, shoot, look at that. It was open. So the escape needs to be hidden. It's a secret. That's it's a secret. Um, and they say they don't. It's a, they don't make them anymore. They don't make. They don't make what anymore? The escape hatches. They don't do escape. They don't make them anymore. Okay. So they're admitting they've made some mistakes. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. See, I was under the impression originally this would be like twenty-five feet away. Yeah. From well, here. I run them away from the bunker. <clears throat> right. 
Yeah, they just run it straight up. So, is there concrete on top of this? Yes, there is. Okay, yeah. there's a foot of concrete on top of it. Alrighty. So, see this little <laughs> rod right here? Mm -hmm. It's not even catching when it's locked on the one side. It catches just the one side. So, if somebody jerked hard enough, they could pull that open. So, your skate isn't very strong. So let me go back to I left my light down there. And this is the supposedly the, the faucet for the shower pumping that shower. Let me see it. And I've, I just stuck that on so I wouldn't knock it over. So what is this? That's supposed to be what pumps the shower out. When what? You, pumps you, the shower out. Yeah, when you take a shower or use water or something inside. So you got to come outside to pump it out? I, I guess I never figured out how to use it. Tell you the truth. All right. <clears throat> well, I have all this video, so let me try to go down inside this bunker here. So you got to go. That's crazy looking. It looks like that's an optical illusion. It makes your eyes kind of zigzaggy, don't it? And when you, <clears throat> huh? When you you have problems with your legs, it's not very easy to get down. That's yeah, I can tell you're not in great shape here. So I'm gonna go left, right. I'm gonna bust my ass on this thing. I swear. Left, right, left. I, I don't think they do this anymore. Left, right, left, right. And you're into this. So they should put galvanized bolts here, maybe stainless steel. It's typical. They got emergency light in here. So you come into this bunker. There's the Ryzen S logo. All right, and the air system's right there within, I don't know, 10, 11 feet of each other. You've got the air coming in and the air going out really close together. If it's a tiny 11 foot bunker, you have no choice. But as far as the door goes, it's, uh, a sheet metal door with some like inch and a half square tubing. Um, little handle there to keep it closed. It doesn't seal tight. Pardon me? It doesn't seal tight. It doesn't seal tight? What, the door? No, that door, you know, I complained about that from the day one. Well, they don't put in a gas tight door. It's just, uh, I guess, well, it's a quarter inch sheet metal. And uh, I guess it's just a steel door. Um, of course, it's bolted together again, wasn't welded. Um, I put a caulk around it. These steps are funky as hell. You're supposed to come down one foot at a time. When you have a bunker this big, you should put the air coming in on one side, like over here, and then you should do the air going out over there, like that. So it has a nature's head toilet, propane water heater. shower <coughs> so they 
It has some under the floor storage on the bottom bunk here. See how that's hinged up there? escape tunnel we'll go to the outside and we'll, we'll go see what it looks like from the outside but if there's no dirt between there and it's actually look the bar is not even catching on this side can you see that it's not even catching there so it's only catching on that one side over there wow <laughs> it's a joke and so you can tell based on this that is less than three feet from here to there. You gotta have at least three feet of dirt on top of you for attenuation. This was, this was all the food storage right here. And this was the closet where he kept all his food. So all his food got ruined. His toilet got ruined. The air system wasn't worth the crap anyway, but it's ruined. Again, the Ryzen S symbol. So this Ryzen S bunker flooded because um, they don't have a shutoff valve um, from the outside to the inside. <coughs> and uh, according to the customer, this bunker flooded because of that. So this is a five-year-old Ryzen S bunker that was full of water and he just went ahead and pumped it out. So what can I say? Um, another Ryzen S bunker fails, you know. I mean, all I can do is bring you the guys these videos and uh, say just buyer beware. You know what? It's really sad because anyone that has that kind of shop has has the capability to make a bunker correctly. But the engineering on the on what you just saw, the stairs, propane water heater, just a sheet metal door. The escape hatch, that's a joke. That thing basically just opened up to the surface. I mean, guys, that'd be like buying a boat and have a big giant hole in it and, tell, and they tell you that it's going to float. No, it would fill full of water and sink. When you have the hatch right above you, the gamma radiation will go straight into the bunker. There's nothing to shield it. You should have two foot of concrete or three foot of earth between you and the surface at all times to protect you from gamma radiation. I guess the guys at Rising S Bunkers just didn't get the memo or they never educated themselves. I don't really know. But as you said, they... Uh, they, they admit that they did a lot of things wrong on this bunker, and, and for them to fix it, they're going to have to charge them all this extra money. That's just sad, guys. You know, if I make a mistake on a bunker, I'm going to fess up to it, and I'll go fix it. Now, if I sell you a bunker, and you do it yourself, and you screw up, and something happens, it's not my fault. i got to charge you for it. But I've had to go back and actually fix two of my bunkers in the last two months. Nothing wrong with the bunker, or nothing wrong with the... Um, well, there is nothing wrong with the bunker. It's just... Um, uh, the guy installed it wrong on one, but I hired a contractor and I saw it in a video that it was out of level and he didn't do the air pipe right. So I literally went back to South Dakota, dug the thing up and fixed it. And the other one, uh, the escape tunnel, uh, got a leak in it. So I had to change out the escape tunnel. But anyway, so you know, we all make mistakes. The difference is Atlas will fix their mistakes. And you know what? This lifetime warranty that this Ryzen S Bunkers is offering, guys, I haven't found a single person. And if you have had a Ryzen S bunker and they actually warrantied something, send me an email, send me a text, because I haven't had anybody call me and tell me that. But guys, 
God, this is horrible. I hate doing these kind of videos, but guys, man, I'll tell you what. If you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe, share this video so other people don't make the same mistake. Hit the little indicator bell that goes ding, 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 lets you know when more of these Atlas videos come in. But guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video.